Shanghai entered a two-stage lockdown Monday as the financial hub of 26 million people scrambles to contain surging COVID-19 cases. In Shanghai, People's Republic of China, we unveiled a new symbol signifying our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and for visual recognition of official church information and materials. We have called for a global day of fasting and prayer that the present pandemic may be controlled, caretakers, caregivers protected, the economy strengthened, and life normalized. This fast will be held on Good Friday, April 10th. What a great Friday that will be. Next Sunday is Easter Sunday, when we will again commemorate the atonement and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of his atonement, his gift of resurrection will come to all who have ever lived, and his gift of eternal life will come to all who qualify by fidelity to ordinances and covenants made in his holy temples. The many inspiring compliments of this April 2020 General Conference and the sacred week that we now begin can be summarized by two divinely decreed words. Hear him. We pray that your focus on Heavenly Father who spoke those words and on his beloved Son, Jesus Christ, will loom largest in your memories of all that has transpired. We pray that you will begin anew, truly, to hear, hearken to, and heed the words of the Savior. I promise that decreased fear and increased faith will follow. For the first time, we have an idea now of how much the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Big Investment Fund performed over the course of a year. That fund is called Ensign Peak Advisors, and Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle found the public document showing how many billions of dollars it gained in 2020. Over the last year, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has been more forthcoming about how it's investing tithing money. This latest filing with the Securities and Exchange Commission shows that despite the economic downturn of the pandemic, the church's big investment fund made money. This filing with the SEC shows the holdings of Ensign Peak Advisors at the end of 2020. When added all up, it shows the fund gained more than $6 billion in one of the most difficult financial years in American history. 